Hello, my name is Emma, and in today's video, I am going to help you with your pronunciation. Today, I am going to teach you how to pronounce one of the most common words in English. That word is the word of, okay? So when we say of, just on its own, as a single word, we usually pronounce it like this, of, which, which has kind of like a v sound at the end, of. Now that's kind of hard to pronounce. There's an easier way that we pronounce this word when we use it in a sentence or an expression. And that's what we're going to learn today. So let's get started. Okay, so I have here some English expressions. I have a lot of, slice of pie, piece of cake. Now when I actually say this, I don't say of. I want you to listen very carefully to what I'm actually saying and how I pronounce the word of in these expressions, okay? A lot of, I'll say that one more time. A lot of, slice of pie, slice of pie, piece of cake, piece of cake, okay? Now I've said it a little louder than I usually would, but you'll notice I didn't say slice of pie, I said a slice of pie. So my point here is that native speakers of English, especially North American English, usually do not pronounce of like this. We actually pronounce it more like ah. Uh. Okay. So what we can do is we can actually add an ah uh here. So I want you to repeat after me. A lot of, a lot of. I have a lot of friends, okay? A lot of. And we also say a uh, a little bit quieter um, because it's not a stressed syllable. So we like to say it quieter than the rest of the expression. Slice a pie. So I can move this and add a uh. So let's say that together. Slice a pie. All right, now let's try this expression. A piece of cake. So this means it's something that's easy. So, piece of cake, okay? So let's do some practice together. And you will see of a lot in English. So this is a really good word to practice and to get used to pronouncing um, in a native speaker way because A, it will be easier to understand you. And B, a uh, is a lot easier to say than of, okay? So let's practice these sentences together. So I've put the word of with a, a red underline. And anytime you see of, I want you to change it to a. Uh. Okay? So let's say this together. It is made of brick. It is made of brick. He has lots of money. He has lots of money. Game of Thrones. If you like that TV show, that's a really important thing to be able to pronounce. Game of Thrones. I thought of something. So again, let's turn this to a. Uh. I thought of something. It's a piece of cake. And that means it's something very easy. It's a piece of cake. Okay, this is actually one of my favorite idioms. It's a piece of cake. All right, so now let's do some more practice on the word of and its pronunciation. So one thing you can do if you're having trouble with the pronunciation of of in sentences or expressions or phrases is you can actually just put the, the uh underneath of to help remind you, okay? So this is one thing you can do when you're practicing the pronunciation of this. So let's uh, practice some more sentences. That's a nice piece of furniture. Okay, so now I want you to try. That's a nice piece of furniture. And again, when we say this part, we're not saying it loud. We're not saying piece of furniture. We say it kind of quietly, piece of furniture. Okay, let's try the next one. The cost of living is high. The cost of living is high. You can do it one more time. The cost 
sorry, the cost of living is high. All right, let's do um, this next sentence. And by the way, at the time of filming, Justin Trudeau is the prime minister. Just um, in case, you know, it changes, I, I want this to make some sense. The prime minister of Canada is handsome. Okay, he's a handsome man. The prime minister of Canada is handsome. Okay, so now you can try to say that. Okay, now let's try another sentence. Many of the shows are comedies. Many of the shows are comedies. Okay, and when we say this part, we also kind of say it quicker too. Many of the shows are comedies. Versus if I said many of the shows are comedies. You can say that, but again, most native speakers say it very quick and more like a, a sound. Many of the shows are comedies. All right, and let's try one more. Ottawa is, so first I'll say it slow. Ottawa is north of Toronto. Ottawa is north of Toronto. So now you try to say it. Ottawa is north of Toronto. Okay, great. So this is something you can practice, um, you know, even if you find an English book, of is just such a common word, you can find tons of examples of of in sentences. So again, try to say this out loud, you know, practice reading, say the sentences out loud and change the of to an uh sound, an unstressed uh sound. And that will really help your pronunciation and it will also make it easier to say because again, of is harder to say than a. Uh. All right. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you would like to practice more, you can come visit our website at www.ingvid.com. There we will have a quiz for you where you can practice what you've just learned. Um, you can also subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of different resources on pronunciation, grammar, vocabulary, and many more things to do with English. So until next time, thank you for watching and take care.